Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, November 20th, 2021. This is Coffee and Crypto. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this every Saturday, but last couple of Saturdays, I found myself in here trading these things, and I thought it'd be fun to do a little video. You guys let me know if you like it or not, and I'll decide whether or not I'm going to keep going with it. But anyway, I thought it would be fun to do a little video. I know you want to party with me, right? <laughs> let me just go through a few of these in here real quick. Cyan means I'm free rolling on them. And means I've taken partial profits. And as I talked about in the week of charts, I've staked off a little or mined off a little bit, just a tiny bit, 50 bucks. And we're, we're going to see what happens. And I'll show you that in just one second. And purple means I'm in with an IPT and a stop. Pink just means that I'm in, but I have some action to take. For instance, I just got in this one a little while ago because it was going up. And I need to figure out my IPT and my stop. By the way, one thing about these higher price ones, it's going to probably be a little bit harder for them to move as much. I need to wrap my head around the volatility on these things. And so I've been just using a straight 20% lately. And in something like this, I might use like 10% for an IPT. A couple things I was thinking about this morning. Like I've been saying, I have a list of things that, that I'm working on. This, this is definitely a work in progress. Before I get to the problems, though, a couple things. One, technical analysis does work. Chew, sometimes you can just buy them because they're going up because it's an inefficient market. Simple systems like the 230 EMA can work really well. As I said in Facebook, I saw one of you guys were applying it to some other markets. Don't run out and apply that to an efficient, an efficient market unless that efficient market is really, really, really trending. So be careful with that. Tread lightly on that. The other thing is the money management is crucial, works really well. Now, some of the problems this morning I came in and you know, you can't kiss all the women sometimes, and uh, or all the time. <laughs> and anyway, a lot of these were like really hot, and it's like I only had so many slots, so to speak, available. Because as you can see, I have quite a few of these that are free rolling, and quite a few that I'm waiting for them to hopefully hit that IPT. I know you said hope. But all the swapping around, there, there can be like a death of a thousand cuts. So I've been in here for an hour or so, maybe a little bit longer, <laughs> maybe two hours. And uh, I've, I've done half a dozen trades or maybe even more. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like nine or 10 trades already this morning. And all that swapping out can end up to be a death by a thousand cuts. And on some of these, it just seems like if I would just sit tight and let the position unfold, I would do better. And as I said a while back, or recently I should say, sometimes, it's like, it's like, be careful what you wish for, I guess. I mean, it's great right now because they're all going straight up usually. And you could do a lot of this relative strength trading, just just trading, just hopping to the hot ones. However, it would almost be a little easier if the market settled down a little bit and you could trade like the pullbacks and, and more like the core methodology. And I've been saying that quite a bit. Anyway, let's just go through the portfolio real quick. Just bought this one. I need to put some orders in on that one, take care of it. This one, uh, as you can see back here, got in, and this is, uh, looks like a 230 EMA. That's not what I got in on. I just got in because it was going up, and then after the fact, I noticed it was a 230 EMA. This is a 20% run from here to here, believe it or not. And I'm still in half of this, and I also staked off some of that. And I'll talk about that in a second, or mined it off. Whatever you want to call it. Yava, uh, I've been in this one, Avalanche. Avalanche, I've been in this one for a little while. I don't. I meant to put in where I where I got in. Probably on this pullback. Look at this beautiful pullback to this 30 EMA. Didn't quite tag it. Don't sit around and wait for them to get all the way down. They don't. They don't always will. But this is what I was alluding to earlier. You could trade it more like the core methodology, or as it gets becomes a little bit more developed. You go way back in time. Like bar one, bar two. This would have been a 230 EMA. So that would have been really beautiful. Hopefully, you know, I was thinking this morning, I have a, a whole page of, of issues and problems that I want to address and questions. And I'm hoping by the time, I'm hoping that the markets stay hot enough to where I can keep trading them while I get all these questions answered. So again, it's a work in progress, but something beautiful like a nice little pullback can work really, really well. Sometimes you just, you could just, again, buy them when they're going up. Thank goodness on this one. This was uh, during the week of charts. One of you guys brought it up. It was breaking out a little bit. looked pretty good. Got in like right here. And then uh, it was having a hard time. See how close it came to IPT? That's another thing too is there's only so much time in the day. And I can't sit around and watch every little tick. 
I did have an IPT in place, and I guess if I was more patient, it would have got there, but it was stalling out a little bit, and I really wanted to lock in half and peel off a little bit to mine, so to speak. And so I went ahead and got out a little bit early, but I did make it, as you can see, to that IPT today. So free rolling on that one, thank goodness, was in the week of charts. There's another one or two that did that I scratched out of for week of charts. Crew, been in this one for a while. This is Crypto.com. We talked about that one in the week of charts. RMRK, another one free rolling on. ABBC, and I'm going to start marking these up so I'm not just randomly talking about ones that I'm long. But if you go in and look some, look at some of the postings I've done in Facebook and on the week of charts, etc., you'll see that I've been long a lot of these for a while. But this one here, I got in here. It was going up, also kind of coming out of a pullback, breaking out to new highs. And then you can see IPT up here. It's tailed off since, but I'm free rolling, so I'll try to leave it alone. And just an FYI, like with the hot swapping, for instance, a lot of times if I'm buying this thing, let's say I'm buying it into brand new highs, into nosebleed, and it tails off like this, I just go ahead and get out. But once I'm free rolling, I try to sit on my hands as much as possible. Opu, another one I've been in forever. I think I went back. Oh, there you go, right there. Look, way back here. Add free rolling in this. And that's the ultimate goal. And, and, you know, you can end up chasing your tail. And as I said earlier, or I think I said earlier, it seems like you can get into a, a death by a thousand cuts. I made all these trades this morning, and my account is smaller than it was when I woke up. But hopefully, I know there's a word again, but hopefully I'll be able to catch a home run or two and make it all worthwhile. This one I've been in a long time too, so I'm give, kind of giving it a little bit of uh, space to breathe. Sands, another one. I think I've been in and out of this one a couple times. This must have been an add-on trade here. And I scratched out of the add-on. I still have like half of the position left that I'm pre-rolling on. So the add-on didn't work in that particular case. Here's one I got in this morning a few minutes ago. As you can see, it hasn't really done anything just yet on that one. But I like that it was breaking out the new highs and it was high on the RS list. When we do the RS in one second, you'll see that. This one here was a little thin, I was a little skeptical. I have traded it a couple times before, so maybe I felt overconfident, but it was it was breaking out to new highs on an expansion range, looking pretty good, and so far that one's at a loss. Now here's a case where I might hot swap out of this really quick, or play hot potato, so to speak. Like, okay, it's not working, I'll just go ahead and get out. And again, I haven't fully formed this, it's kind of a work in progress. Another one you can see, it's already tailed off, so a little bit of concern there. This one was a little bit of a pullback, and it was beginning to take off, and that's why I got into it. This one, another pullback, nice little pullback to the 30, was beginning to take off. So hasn't quite hit that IPT, and now it's tailing back in. So the the purple here, the open portfolios that haven't hit the IPT, not looking as great as some of the other ones. Store J, I think I talked about this one a week in charts. I got it here in the breakout, flipped out half, stopped out, and then went back to the well yesterday on that one so i think it was thursday in and out and then friday in and hopefully out of the profit later this is one that's pulled back to the 30 ema a bit of a front run on that rally higher so far it really has it taken off as you can see so not too impressed with the open portfolio myself as i'm looking at this another one look nice little pullback in here beginning to rally out but so far not working and then this one, another one that was, uh, this is a pattern I've been kind of looking at lately where you have a, a big bar up and then you have a down bar and then buying the relative strength, but it's trying to push it to new closing highs at least. And so far that's failed miserably, as you can see. Now, the reason I want to show you this one, green is just something I want to talk about. This was a nice little pullback. It began to take off and it was stalling out a little bit this morning. And there were some other things that caught my eye that were a little more exciting. And, uh, you know, that's the other thing I woke up thinking about is the, or one thing I woke up thinking about was the shiny object syndrome. So when these markets are hot, you find yourself chasing the latest shiny object. And ideally, like I said earlier, it'd probably be better to get back into like these Landry Light pullbacks to the 30 EMA and just get in them and let the chips fall where they may maybe stop out below the low of the pullback and below the 30 EMA. By the way, 30 EMA, as I've been saying, really good place are really good to buy the ones that are above and avoid the ones that are below, or look to buy the ones that are above, provided you have a setup, of course. LTO, another little pullback looked pretty good. I probably was front-running this one, and I think I recently just, yeah, I just got out of this one because it didn't follow through. But this looks fantastic. So if you're trading more like core methodology, 
if you want to be aggressive, maybe like 55 cents, a little less aggressive, let's say 60 cents, or maybe right below this high. And then just stop out right below the low. You could almost trade them like a textbook pullback. Now, as you know, in stocks, we give we give a little bit room below the pullback. This one's a little frustrating in here. This is one of those new ones, and maybe this bar here is kind of mucking things up for me. I'm not seeing it as clearly as I should. But this is one that I that I I stalled on. I didn't get in it. And I really wanted to get in it when it was breaking out back here, and then then it was here, break it out, and now it's continuing to break out. But I forget exactly where. I think in the weekend charts, it was down around five bucks, and I said that I liked it, and then this morning it would have nailed that IPT, or maybe even yesterday would have nailed the IPT. So that's a bit of a bummer. Missed that one. And again, you can't kiss all the women. Speaking of kissing all the women, this is one I've been in and out forever. And, you know, if I could just hold on to it, life would be a lot easier. Now, I was wondering, I thought I did stake this one or mine it off a little bit. And I went to my main account where I have all these things bind off, so to speak. And you could see that I have $200 round numbers still in this one. Now, this is a couple of trades in here. And in hindsight, it looks like I'd have been better off just holding the position and riding it out. But evidently, I must have mined off a couple of, a couple of trades here. And I don't know how many, and some of this is growth, and some of this might have been mine. So I'm guessing I probably mined off 100 bucks, and then now it's worth 200 bucks, and it's working out so far, knock on wood, pretty good. But the bottom line is, and again, it's a work in progress. I probably would have been better off just holding on. Okay, let's go through the blue list real quick, and then we'll get to what's going on. This one already tailed off. I think I actually might have traded this one this morning and gotten out already. This one looks kind of interesting. Now, here's sort of your textbook pullback type of pattern. So this one looks really good. I just don't have any slots open right now for new ones. And that's what, what I've been doing this morning is a lot of hot potato swapping or prettier girl swapping. Have you want to look at that? Prettier guy swapping if that's what you're into. Uh, GL, GLCH, as you can see, nice little pullback to the EMA. You know, you could, in this case, maybe more like the core methodology. Entry above here, maybe stop down here. That's a pretty good looking setup there. Another one that's nice little pullback, as you can see. Now, Bitcoin, I just keep this one in to look at it. Um, for those keeping score, bar one, bar two, if it triggers below this low, it would be a short. Or on that one, that one's come in, was run higher. Another pullback to the EMA. This one looked interesting this morning. It's already tailed off. And that's the thing. It's like, well, you, you can't stay up all night, right? But maybe on some of these, you know, it would be great if you can catch them a little bit earlier. Now, longer term, having orders in place to catch the pullbacks as they're triggering and things like that, that might be the way to go. So let's just take a look at what's strong and what's not. There's that G-A-L-A-X. It's always, it always excites me to see something up 50% and then realize that, hey, look, it's cyan. I'm actually in that one. I would tailed off. We just talked about that. Some of these don't have, uh, you, uh, what am I trying to say, the dollar as a denominator on them, and I don't know why, but if they do, I, I just trade the outright ones with the dollar denominator. I don't try to trade them against Bitcoin or anything, because I think that's, I think you're, you're making two bets in one. This one looks pretty good if you were just buying things that go up. In fact, if I had a slot open right now, I'd buy that, and I've got to be careful, like I just said, because I'm swapping in and out of so many of them at some point. I just got to let them. Let them work. AIOZ just got in this one a little while ago. You can see bought right, right at that high. Nice little expansion of range. That's a short one. This one I was in a few minutes ago actually, and you can see it. It uh, it's it's now beginning to rally nicely, and and this is the problem. You end up chasing your own tail sometimes. So I want to kind of show you what I'm doing, kind of warts it all with this stuff. And I'm, and again, I'm still trying to figure it out. There's that RNDR. Kind of kicking myself on that one, but I got a tiny piece left. Anyway, as you go through these, if they tailed off, leave them alone like that one. Make sure you're only buying above, at least for now. The 30 EMA looks like that's the best place to buy. So it's that's about it for today. Again, I'm working on a lot of this stuff. I'll, as I come up with some answers, let me know. Please let me know what you think. Please let me know if you have any ideas on, on some of these uh, problems I'm bringing up, some of these things. And I think that's about it. Everybody enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you so much. And may the trend be with you.